everyone, welcome back. Um, I hope you guys have all been having a great week. Uh, today is, I'm filming on Thursday. I'm uploading this video on Friday, uh, the 8th. So I hope you guys have all had a very great week. Um, hope it's been a great beginning to the first full week of 2021. Um, so there are just a few things I want to talk about before I get started. Uh, I know you guys might notice here is this is a different piece. In my last video, I had my geode piece up. This is another piece I did. Just kind of wanted to show it to you guys. It's another resin piece. Um, it's kind of hard to show you, but it's a 16 by 16 inch uh, wood board behind this. Um, same as the geode piece, I left the sides undone just because I like it that way. I think it's nice. Um, but yeah, this piece was made using all Dianca pores, um, my friend Diana, all of her pigments. I used her purple rain pigment, her celestial blue, and then her antique gold. Um, so yeah, I think it's beautiful, especially in the sunlight. I was cleaning my art studio today and just happened to lift it up and it caught the sunlight and it like, it it's beautiful absolutely stunning um so that piece is up on my etsy page and i will be uploading soon i have this beautiful piece that um finished drying today so it's a 11 by 14 inch canvas um but i think it's absolutely stunning um it is a Dutch pour, as you can see, um, and can't remember exactly what colors we're using it, but it's gonna get a coat of uh, tabletop mass epoxy resin, which will help the colors shine even more. And after I've given it its top coat of resin, it will be uploaded onto my Etsy shop. Um, so you guys can check it out on there. Um, ooh, I also, so for those of you guys who don't know, these bottles that I have all of my paint in um, are made by a company called Loli Vefi, which also stand, uh, reads Love Life. Um, so they're an art company. Uh, and so I actually saw them first from Canela Siraco, who I talk about frequently on this channel. Um, I saw her use them first and I decided that I would give them a try. I love using their bottles, but I recently, it just came in the mail today, bought this tray mold for resin. Um, and I'm very excited to use it. So let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see me uh, do a video on how I make a tray or this could also be used to make a bowl. Um, so I got those. I also got some coaster uh, molds from them. Uh, I have those put away right now, so I don't wanna get them out. Um, but I also got these really fun crystal molds. So basically what it is, is if you have leftover resin, which I always do, um, you just pour it in here and it creates these fun little crystals that can pop out. So maybe on my next video, I'm planning on doing some more resin pieces soon. Um, I will show you guys once the one of these are finished, I will pop them out and show it to you and you can see and maybe I'll upload them on my Etsy page. You'll, who knows? Who knows? Okay, so with that being said, um, about today's pour, it is going to be on a 24 by 24 inch canvas. Um, so it's a square, and I'm gonna be doing kind of a, kind of like a split pour, similar to my last video, except this way I'm gonna, it's a big square, so I'm gonna do a small square in the corner, and then black on the outside. So same as before, Base colors are going to be Liquitex Basics Mars Black and Liquitex Basics Titanium White. And then my colors for this pour are going to be uh, Turquoise Blue by Arteza. Then, uh, oh, sorry, Pearl, Tur Pearl Turquoise. Pearl Turquoise uh, from Arteza, then Pearl Magenta from Arteza, then Liquitex Basics Light Blue Violet, then 
Pearl Lilac by Arteza. My favorite, oh no, not my favorite. I'm just using regular gold, not Pearl Golden Hour by Arteza. This is Liquitex Basics Gold because um, I'm running low on my Pearl Golden Hour, but I have ordered more and it should be here soon. And then I need to put a label on this, but it's Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'm going to bring you guys down and I'm going to flood the canvas and we'll get started on today's pour. See you in a second. Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, so as you can see, this canvas was already used. Um, I scraped it because I was not happy with it. And that's the important thing to keep in mind is if you do a painting and you're not happy with it, scrape it. It doesn't mean you have to keep it and let it dry that way. Just scrape it, try again, save it, and try again at a later date. This is what I've done. This canvas I tried using like maybe two weeks ago and I just wasn't happy with it. So I scraped it and now I'm going to use it today. Um, so with that being said, I've got my two spatulas for my separate colors. Um, for you guys who are wondering, these aren't like art spatulas um or anything these are literally for like making omelets i got it off of amazon for like seven dollars um but it works really well for spreading your paint um and it also lets you kind of feel uh the paint and like know how much you're spreading so like seven bucks on amazon really affordable and great for spreading your paint so check it out get one for yourself it's great all right so with that being said ooh, my black is leaking that being said, we're going to get started. So what I like to do is I just come by and I outline the area using my black and then I'll do the same. Oop. Where'd my white go? There it is. I accidentally grabbed the iridescent white, which is like the sparkly white, um, which I don't want because that's not the same. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go down here, make a line with the regular white, and bam. Now, I'll come in, shake it up, because I just mixed these today. Ugh. I got Floetrol in today, so I was able to mix. Oop, that went over the edge. Eh, that's fine. Then come in and flood with my black. Ooh. Okay. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna spread this out. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do I wanna talk about? Um, don't wanna talk about the news because like News in America, I don't know if like any of you are watching from outside of America, but like news in America is absolutely insane um, the past few days. Uh, kind of doesn't feel like it's real. I kind of like, I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like it's happening. Like I literally was walking and was like, are we in the purge or something? Like what is going on? Um, so yeah, it's kind of feel like if you're in America, it kind of feels very surreal. Like that didn't really just happen. It couldn't have. Um, so what else do I want to talk about? Not that, even though I just brought it up. Um, oh yeah, so I'm very excited because um, I have one of my good friends from down in Texas is moving to New York. He moved up here, actually technically got here like last week, but he doesn't have an apartment, but he's staying with his old roommates. Um, his, his old roommate has family in New Jersey um, from Texas. They have family in New Jersey. So they're staying with them, but they got a place and they move in on Sunday. Um, so I'm super excited to be able to actually like hang out with them. I haven't hung out with them in, God, probably like quite a few years. Like I don't think I've hung out with them since I moved to New York and I moved to New York like five years ago almost. So yeah, no, it's been a hot minute since I've seen them. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I'm so glad that they're here. Uh, they're gonna be coming over to hang out with me and my friends that watch Drag Race um, every Friday, uh, 
which is going to be fun. I'm probably, I'm try, I've been trying to think about like what I'm gonna make because I don't wanna make a sangria every week because aside from that being predictable and getting boring, sangrias are expensive to make. Like I made, the last sangria I made was like a hundred, was like a, not a hundred, a 1.5 liter bottle of this very nice, like, delicious rosé called Whispering Angel. Um, and then I had to go out and I like, it uses, what was it? It was rosé. Then you had to mix it with, um, like I used to, uh, three limes or no, four limes to uh, squeeze the juice into, and then two lime slices. And then after that, it was, what was it? It was two lime slices and then, oh yeah, strawberries. Um, so like a cup full of sliced strawberries. So I made it two cups uh, cause the serving that I was making was technically two servings. And then uh, two cut or four cups of Sprite. I know I was saying great with Sprite, insane. Um, and then I added in just a little bit of sugar and then I went off of the recipe and also added in some blackberry liquor because I thought that would taste good and I was right. My friends all loved it. They thought it was delicious. Um, I, yeah, so, hmm. What else do I want to talk about? Can y'all hear that? <laughs> That's my dog. Um, she's knocking or she's scratching at my art room door. Uh, oh yeah, I can talk about my dog. So I have a adorable, beautiful five-year-old um, boxer pit bull mix, and her name is London, and she is my absolute joy. She is my pride of my life. I love her dearly. I would do anything for her. Um, nobody's dog is better than her. Sorry to all of you if you have pets. She's the best dog out there. Um, and, but she just gets, she gets very, she's very needy. She's very needy for a dog. Um, like if you are hanging out with anyone and even if she's just laying down and doing nothing, if she sees two people like conversing, um, or talking, or like if you give somebody a hug, she's like, oh crap, they're getting attention. I'm not. And immediately will rush over and like demand attention from not just them, but from you as well. And it's, it's kind of funny to watch. Um, but yeah, so I can hear her outside my door right now, kind of scratching like, oh, let me in, let me in. Probably because she hears me talking um, and thinks that there's people here, but there's not anyone here. I'm talking to myself and you guys are just listening to me do it, which kind of is weird, but I'm getting used to it still finding it difficult to find things to talk about, but I mean, I'm sure as things go on, I'll get better at it. And like one thing I also said in my last video is that I really want this channel to be interactive. So like if you're watching and you see this, be like, hey, like how do you do this? Or what do you do with that? Um, why do you do this? Why do you do that? Or if you have suggestions, be like, hey, I wanna see you try out uh, these colors um, comment below and I'll give them a try, you know, like I'm happy to take suggestions. Um, or if you happen to be watching and you see a piece that I'm making and you really like it, um, I'm not really doing any commissions at the moment. So like every piece that you see is available for purchase. So if you want it, just let me know and it can be yours. All right. So we're going to get to pointing the colors. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the line method. I know I say in one of my videos, I always do dots and I do. I wanna give the lines a try, one more try. So let's see. Boom. Turquoise, now for, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, that wasn't as bad as that. I don't know if you guys saw that, but 
uh, I got this piece of, I don't even know what it was, plastic in my paint, <laughs> um, which, gross. Okay, now for the light blue violet. Oh, these colors are really pretty together. Pearl lilac. What else can I talk about? I don't know. I've run out of things to talk about. I don't like, I don't want to just be sitting here babbling randomly because that's no fun. Like you guys probably are like, oh, uh, but I don't really know. I don't know what to talk about. Um, I have a prospective job coming up. Hopefully I get it's for a gym that I used to work for. So when I first moved to New York, I got a job working for a gym called Lifetime Athletic at Sky, which is like a very bougie, very high-end, very high-class gym. And I worked there for about two and a half, yeah, like almost three years. Like I was there for most of my time that I was in school. And stupidly, I left. Um, my parents told me it was wrong. Everyone told me it was wrong, um, but I have an interview for them and I'm hoping I get the job. So, all right, I'm done torching everything. The colors are all laid out. So with that being said, which way do I want to blow? Should I blow out or should I blow in? Hmm. What do you guys think? <laughs> you can't talk to me. Um, okay, I think we're going to blow out. All right, so let's get started. pretty happy with it. I think it's really cool. I think it's or organic. I think it looks great. Um, yeah, no, I'm get that hair out of there. My London hair. Yeah, no, I'm happy with it. I especially am happy with this section right here. I think that's super pretty and I'm in love with this. I like this. More cells keep on popping up. Yeah, no, I'm happy with it. I am happy. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys down for a close up. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up and we will show you it. Be right back. Why is it? All right, guys, so here it is up close and personal. And look how pretty it is. I think I might touch up some of it. Um, you know, I think I'm gonna touch up like there, but I don't wanna, I don't know. I don't wanna mess with it too much. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's cool. Like, I love that. I love that. And this baby is gonna shimmer like so well once it's done drying and got has its coat of resin on it. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. And of course, as usual, do not forget, come down below. Take your popsicle stick and scrape the bottoms. Make sure you get all those drips. Um, but yeah, with that being said, I am done with this video. So if you like what you see, please make sure that you like and subscribe and turn that notifications bell on so that you see every video and can see every creation. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.